We're back on The Chef, you and I, and now we're gonna make uh, a wonderful bread that I had never tasted before, and actually, we were in Cos, Greece, um, a few, about two weeks ago, and I had this wonderful, delightful watermelon bread, and I've looked far and wide trying to find it, and so I've come up with a watermelon bread recipe and I want to share it with you, and I think it's going to be really, really, really good. And the first thing that you're going to do, and I'm not doing it exactly uh, with the recipe because I don't want to use the seeds because there's a lot of people that can't eat seeds, so I did a watermelon that is actually seedless. So the first thing that we're going to do is we're going to take our watermelon, and we're going to take our cheesecloth, and we're going to actually... Um, take the cheesecloth, put the watermelon in it, and we're going to squeeze out the juice. I know that sounds really weird, but that's exactly what the recipe calls for. So this is what we're going to do. We're going to take our watermelon, and I've got clean hands, so just forgive me, and we're going to get about a cup of watermelon juice out of the watermelon, and then we're going to take the pulp and we're going to use it for other things. Okay, so what we're going to do is we need to get at least a cup of water out of this. So we're going to squeeze this in the cheesecloth. We're doing a pretty good job of getting it. So, and then what we're going to do is we're going to take our pulp and the rest of our ingredients and we're going to add them together and we're going to make watermelon bread. So this is my first attempt at it, so, you know, it's not not hard to do and your kids can even help, help you do this this summer so I think that's kind of fun and it looks like we almost have a cup of a cup of watermelon juice here so and what we're gonna do is I think we have about a cup okay so let's put that right there and let's pour this into the cup and if we don't have enough we'll just do it one more time that's one cup. I can't believe it. That's that's wonderful. Now what we're going to do is we are we have chopped up. We're going to continue to chop up our watermelon and then we're going to put that in one bowl and then we're going to add all of our other ingredients. Okay, so let's do that. We've got our watermelon juice and let's take this and put this aside. And we're going to use this. Why not? So, that was pretty simple and we'll use that and so they ask us to actually take the rest of the watermelon we'll move this over because we're gonna put the batter and everything together in a second so let me just move this right along and you know watermelon was pretty cheap I found so it's it's really important that you know you cut up your watermelon as much as you want get it into small little pieces right I've already started doing that and then we're going to add all this watermelon to this recipe this is one one watermelon so you want to do that okay we're almost done with that cut it into small pieces okay and then what we're going to do is we're actually going to place uh, uh, the actual watermelon in a separate bowl. And then we're going to add our dry ingredients and then we're going to add all of it together. So let's just do that. And I'm going to take this and I'm going to put all the watermelon in here. And then what we're going to do... So that's one watermelon. That's a lot of watermelon. Okay. All right. But this is going to be so wonderful. It's so, such a beautiful bread. I can't even tell you how much I loved it. So I'm going to move this over. We don't need this right now. All right. Okay. All right, so the next thing we want to do is add all of our dry ingredients to this first and then add our watermelon to it. So the next thing that we're going to do is um, we are going to add our flour that I've already pre-mixed. This is two cups of flour. 
all right? And we want to add our, um, our combined, our sugar, which is a cup of sugar, okay? You know, in the summertime, things stick, unfortunately. And then we're going to um, add our baking soda, which we need to get, uh, actually, one tablespoon of baking powder. And um, here's my wonderful spoons. And we're going to add one tablespoon of baking powder. And there's one tablespoon of baking powder. And then we're going to add, uh, we're going to um, add our other spices. We want to we want to do a teaspoon of nutmeg. Of nutmeg. One teaspoon of nutmeg. And we want to do one teaspoon of allspice. This is really going to be a great, great tasting bread. I can't wait. And then what we're going to do is we're going to, we've, we've put all of those into, and our salt. I need actually um, uh, one teaspoon of salt as well. So we'll add one teaspoon of salt, which I've, all right, there's one teaspoon of salt. And then we're going to mix all of our dry ingredients together. And then we're going to start adding all of the wet ingredients. Oh, does that smell great or what? I can't wait to try this bread. Well, so then what we're going to do, and we um, already have uh, the softened butter. And actually, we're going to add the softened butter here. Okay, and then what we're going to do is we're going to add our one cup of yogurt, which is right here. I'll add that. And then we're going to add our um, one cup of watermelon juice, which is right here that we already did. Sure, it's going to be pink in the end, a little bit of brown with pink in the inside of it. And then we're going to add to this um, one cup of watermelon juice with one cup of watermelon um, pulp, which is this right here, and we'll do that. I'm going to add a little bit more because I want it to be a little moister. This looks actually great. And then we're going to add in our currants and our beaten eggs that I've already beaten, three, three whole eggs that I beat ahead of time. And then we're also going to add a third of a cup of black currants, which are right here. And this looks great. I can't wait to have it. We're going to do is we're going to spray our um, our pan that we're going to put it into, and so now what we're going to do is we're actually going to 
take our batter and we're going to put it into our baking pan. But before we do that, we need to spray the baking pan. So spray it real nice like that. We're done. And then what we're going to do is actually take the batter and put it in here. And I know that you are going to really love this wonderful watermelon bread. The next thing we're going to do after we do this is we're going to set the clock for about 20-25 minutes and then you want to test it as well. So, so that it was pretty simple to do. You got that extra watermelon, you can do it. Okay, so we've got it all in there. Now what we're going to do, hold on a second, we're going to spread it in the pan. That looks really good. Really nice. And then we're going to put it in the oven, which we preheated the oven for 400, 350 degrees. We preheated the oven for 350 degrees, and we're going to time it for 20 to 25 minutes, and then we're going to test it. And it should be brown. It should look really nice and pretty and brown. And like I said, I didn't use this, the seeds. So we're going to take a short break, and we'll be right back on The Chef, You and I, after these messages.